Hello, welcome to Liverpool FC News Today channel. Liverpool ace Mohamed Salah has been tipped to turn his back on the Reds and move to Saudi Arabia following a mega money offer from Al Ittihad. The Merseysiders managed to hang on to the 31 year old ahead of the Premier League transfer deadline last week. But could still lose their talisman as the Saudi transfer window is open until 10 pm British summer time on Thursday night. And Express Sport takes a look at what we know about the Egyptians' future. According to The Sun, Liverpool were offered £215 million, including Ad ONS by Al Ittihad, in exchange for Salah at the start of this week. Reds Chiefs had turned their noses up at the Saudi club's £170 million bid before last week's deadline as they refused. The payday. Representatives from Al Ittihad flew to London at the weekend to have one final crack at landing the 2019 Champions League winner. The same report says Salah will earn £2.45 million per week if he moves to Saudi Arabia. But the forward has also been given plenty of other incentives in an attempt to get him to the Middle East. Al Ittihad will hand him a large percentage of shirt sales, a £55,000 win bonus and ambassadorial roles with at least three major Saudi companies. Those extra roles will be worth £18 million with each firm happy to pay him £6 million for his efforts. After Liverpool had defeated Aston Villa in the Premier League on Sunday, Reds midfielder Dominic Sobarsly claimed that Salah had told his team, mates he wants to stay at Anfield. We were. Of course, speaking between each other, but he wants to stay, he wants to be here, he wants to be with us, the Hungary international explained. Following the game against the Villains, Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp also addressed the player's future as he said, I never had any doubt about his commitment to this club. You can't imagine how much fuss the world has made but how calm we are with it. He is our player and wants to play here. He didn't tell me, but he didn't have to. He speaks with his training and performances and behaviour. We had meetings this week, and the meetings were not about what we did in the past, it was about what we will do in the future. Mo was with the players, leadership, committee and had his moments where he was talking and it was nothing like by the way. This is only until next week or whatever. Mo doesn't have to come into my office and tell me. By the way boss, I'm not going. For me it wasn't a subject for one second, to be honest. Besides the questions, from the outside. Nobody, at the club, came to me and told me something could happen or whatever. On Friday nothing. I'm pretty sure I would have got a call but I didn't.